Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Andre with GarageDoorGuidance.com. I uh, just want to make a video today on how to change out the circuit board. That'd be this whole piece, just kind of the plate here. Sorry about the lighting, just working with what I've got. Um, anyhow, this is uh, just a, this is a LiftMaster, oh hang on, LiftMaster Professional. Let's just get that a little better for us. So LiftMaster Professional Line Security Plus. Uh, these were manufactured between 02 and 05, I believe. Uh, just a little red button here. This will also work for the purple button ones. And it's a similar process for the Craftsman, um, all the Chamberlain, Access Master, uh, all those. It's all pretty much the same. Very simple, very easy to do. You could get the part yourself on the... Uh, on the internet or usually you might be able to find them at a uh, Home Depot or Lowe's and it'd be this whole piece here like I said you just want to match up obviously the color of the button is the main thing because that's the frequency um, gray antenna is also an indicator of the frequency and you've got the model numbers Let's see if we can focus in on that here there you are oh come on that's okay just match up you know make sure you get similar models and you shouldn't have an issue with it. Um, like I said, these parts run something like uh, anywhere from 60 to to $100 depending where you go and uh, definitely something something easy and doable. You might want to take care of yourself instead of calling a repair company because they will charge you something about you know anywhere from $150 to $250 to do this. It takes just a few minutes, very easy. All you'll need for this job is uh, literally just a impact gun or even just a quarter inch wrench or a uh, screwdriver and a uh, quarter inch socket if you're doing it this way like I said you can do the screwdriver out however you want to do it now all you do pop that in ready to go that's about it guys let me go ahead and uh, set the camera up here pop that over and let's do it so all you've got to do you got four screws very easy obviously first thing before you do that you definitely want to unplug your unit just kind of reduce the risk of getting shocked you got little warnings everywhere so definitely want to unplug that you got to be safe let's go ahead and do this you got one and that's four Set those aside. That plate. Sometimes it get a little sticky. They got little sticky parts here and here. Then wiggle them loose. Pop it down. Now that's loose, and that's pretty much it in terms of getting it, uh, getting it off. Um, next, you've got just one little, one last step. You see right in here. That's the only thing that connects. So all I do is you could either. Uh, I've just got the one hand, so I'll just pull it. You can just pull it just like that, comes loose. You see the connector pieces right there. That's your connector. That's really it. You get your new part just like that. You got your new part in. You connect that back into place, screw the bolts back in, plug your unit back in. And that's really it. it takes takes uh, literally, I mean, as you can tell, it took me a few minutes at most, and I mean that'll take care of you. Like I said, save you about seventy five, anywhere from seventy five to two hundred dollars on, you know, calling somebody else out to do that for you. So it's definitely something you might consider doing on your own, unless you are considering just replacing the whole thing. If it's a little bit of an older one, it might be something you would want to do. Uh, we do have a review on some pretty good units um, in uh, Home Depot, Chamberlain, you know, they've got the Chamberlains and Genies and all that, but uh, we do recommend Chamberlain if you do go the route of changing it out. Uh, we've got, like I said, I'll put the link into the re for the review on uh, the description here, as well as I'll put the link for the parts for the circuit boards, should you choose to do that, and like I said, usually about the 
couple days and uh, that's uh, that's all it takes so hope you guys enjoyed the video of course leave a leave a comment and like uh, subscribe if you can it definitely helps us out and we'll uh, keep you posted on all kinds of new videos leave a comment with a video if you want us to do a specific one more than happy to do that our goal is just to help people out here thank you for watching this is Andre with garagedoorguidance.com have a good day